is Adam from the Duel Academy, and I just top aided, uh, where are we? Columbus. Okay. Columbus. We're in, uh, Columbus. I top aided the Columbus Regional. Um, I went nine or eight and one. I don't know what place I got. We just finished the round, but I had to give all my cards back, so we have to do a deck profile. Uh, I played DDD though, so let's get into the list. Um, three Coupler, obvious. I play three Thomas because I side one out most of the time going second. Um, or like post board just because I don't need to necessarily see it. And then if I don't side in my Lava Golems, I take out one trade in as well for this. Um, I thought three was fine. I really like the break eight plays. Uh, three Rag because I want to open it. Uh, I only play two Copernicus because I wanted to make room for Desires and I didn't think three was necessary. Um, one up Orthros uh, just to out stuff. Uh, three green, three red. Uh, Snake Lady. Um, those are just the basic good cards. And then double Maxi to finish off the monsters. Maxi was pretty good in the main. I, I like it in the main. Uh, like these guys, I only played one of this because I don't want to draw ever. I don't ever want to see two. I barely ever want to see it the one, first time, so just play one. Um, and I played a lot of draw power today. Um, so all of these cards. Never were any of them dead except for a trade-in. No, no, and even that time I was able to search eventually. So, no, none of these cards were ever dead anytime I saw them. A lot of the times I would open, like, I would, like, resolve these five and a lot of my going first hands, um, like, all at once. So it would be, like, trade-in, do like, all that kind of shit. It was just crazy. When you go through, like, 20 cards in your deck, you definitely see your combo pieces. And then uh, a full ocean of one-for-one. One. I don't like Soul Charge because uh, you have to, it requires setup to play. I don't agree with that. Uh, and then I just play Double Strike and Vanities. Um, I only play two because you play so much draw power, you should be able to see it. And then Vanities with Siegfried is uh, just a really, really good lock. Um, for the extra deck, I got my Yugi tokens. But then for real though, I do play two Genghis. I don't think a third is necessary, although I do see some people playing three. Uh, I play two Dark because I use it for the combo in turn one, and then sometimes I want to make it past that. Um, Beowulf at one. I didn't play the other fusion guy. I don't think he's very good, especially since you can only fusion it with the uh, spell card. Not very good in my opinion. Uh, one formula, one hyper librarian. I like this card a lot, but I never summoned it today. So uh, this card's really, really good. Makes a lot of really good combos. Um, Alexander, Siegfried, Omega, Crystal Wing, all basic stuff. Uh, and then I play the Trish. The Trish is, I don't know, I guess kind of normal to play. Uh, it was either this or Criston Phoenix. I ended up playing Trish. I liked it. I liked it today. Although Criston Phoenix is actually surprisingly easy to make um, if you open uh, slimes, slimes, Lamia, any of two of those, and then you also open a Kepler. You can easily uh, have these two on board um, and like a Genghis or something else. I can't remember what the combo is, but basically you can synchro on your opponent's turn into the. Uh, Kriston Phoenix, uh, especially like Metal Foe is really, really good when they like set all their stuff. But, uh, yep. And then Harbinger, and then this guy. Chainable Heavy Storm, really, really good. That's it for the extra deck. And then side deck, I had DD Crows for the mirror match. I saw it a bunch, never actually came up, so I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Double Denko for Paleozoics. I saw it against them, but I had already beaten them, so it was pointless. Um, I play no kaijus, but I do play double lava golem. Uh, it's a trade-in target, which I really, really like. Uh, and it gets rid of two things. And if they only have one thing that you need to get rid of, this is like something that kaiju would be useful for, uh, I always find that my deck can just push through it, so there's no point unless you want to, you know, drop two things. Uh, right, Gekki, if I'm going second against, I don't know, anything that I don't think is going to make, like, a spell negation thing, like Harbinger. Um, so, uh, two system down. Uh, good against ABC. Uh, triple Twin Twister, never sided it, I don't know why, I, or I never put it in, I don't know why I sided it, and then Triple Anti-Spell for uh, Metal Foe. I don't think this card hurts my deck at all. But that was the list, I will, uh, the actual place I got will be in the name of the video, so you guys don't really need to know that as of right now. But thanks for watching guys, a shout out to, though to Guardian Games, Indy, um, Brad, Alex Bradshaw gives me all my cards, so uh, make sure you subscribe though uh, for more Yu-Gi-Oh content, I upload content, well semi-regularly, but awesome, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content.